New Hampshire is the first state in the country to require local water systems, landfills, and wastewater plants to regularly test for contaminants known as forever chemicals. Thursday, state lawmakers approved new lower standards for PFAS compounds. The acronym stands for a class of thousands of industrial chemicals used in household products to military-grade military firefighting foam. They're called forever chemicals because they can take decades to break down in the environment. The tough new standards, drinking the tough new standards on drinking water will take effect in October. For decades, toxic foam loaded with PFAS made it into the local water supply during firefighting training exercises at Pease Air National Guard Base. Airmen who served at Pease believe that the water and exposure to more than a dozen toxic chemicals are causing organ-related cancers. When we first brought you this story last fall, 42 veterans had died. Well, now that number stands at 67. Several former airmen are now fighting for screenings for veterans who may be at risk for cancer. News Center's Vivian Lee has the story. Quorum resident Gary Eno started as an aircraft mechanic at the Pease Air National Guard base more than 30 years ago. But as a young airman, he wasn't aware of the dangers working with chemicals without protective equipment. Figuratively, up to your elbows and these chemicals every day, gas in airplanes, washing airplanes, de-icing them. During his career, he watched his fellow airmen die of organ-related cancers, then a close call. Early detection found prostate cancer and then bladder cancer several years ago. He wants his fellow veterans who may not know they're at risk for cancer to get screened. In early detection, right. it's the only thing that's going to save you. It's the only thing. Enos believes former and current airmen should be treated the same like firefighters. Numbers are in the circles. More communities, including Rockland, are providing mobile health screenings for firefighters who have a higher risk for cancer. The only difference between us and firefighters, I believe, is that they will inhale some of these toxins through smoke. Widows of former Pease airmen who died from organ cancers are pushing for a federal health study. The study could determine the rate of cancer among former members from Pease. It could include personnel who served at the base from the 70s until 2018. Now in a statement, the commander of the wing, Colonel John Pagoric, tells News Center that officials are waiting on the Air Force Medical Support Agency to approve a study. If that study goes forward and finds a connection to cancer cases, the wing would push strongly for screenings for current and former airmen. Enos, in the meantime, is about to undergo his fifth procedure for bladder cancer in two years. He is screened every three months to make sure the aggressive cancer is not spreading. A battle he will probably have to deal with the rest of his life, but he's grateful he's still here to fight. In Portland, Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine.